Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So in this video, we will try to learn about the overview of the angular dependency injection and how we can test this angular dependency injection using the angular testing utilities. So angular dependency injection is a design pattern where objects or services are created and supplied to other objects that need them. So the DA system automatically resolves the dependencies for the services and their nested dependencies. You don't need to worry about the construction or dependency chain and testing involves understanding the dependencies and optionally mocking them. So I will try to show you about this one. So testing the services in Angular using the test bed. The test bed utility is a critical tool for testing in Angular. It creates a dynamic Angular testing module similar to as a ng module and lets you configure services for the testing. So I will try to show you one by one. So steps to test a simple service. So normally we have a value service, so which we already have it, get value and setting up the test bed. So for this value service and uh, for this one, so how we can test how we can test this one is so normally. So let's go to the value the service spec.es. I will remove this entire code so that you'll be able to understand it very clearly. So this is one way without using the Angular testing utilities how we can test the service. Now I will remove this entire code. So now what I want to do it is so here I will use describe the value service. And here you will be having the like this and now we will be writing the test cases. So first one is let service which is of type value service. Okay. And now here I will be writing the before each. Okay. Before each test case passing. So here it will try to execute this one. So now here in this, in this I will be creating test bed dot configure. So we will be using the configure testing module. So we will be using this one. So this one will take an object. And in this object, we need to provide the providers. So which is of type value service. That's it. So now we have provided it. And now we need to get the object for this one. So here, so service is equal to rest bed dot inject of value service. That's it. So now we have injected the value service. So now we are able to get the object of this one. So now if you want to test it means how you can test it is it <coughs> should return or otherwise we are testing the hash get value it should return value should return the value so here so here i can use expect of service dot get value to be real value that's it so this is how we will be testing it so using the test bed testing bed so now if you want to test with uh, dependencies means i will try to show you so now if you try to execute this one npm test so let's try to see whether how it will the output will come so now if you check here the test has been passed the value service get value it should return a value so it has been passed so this is how we will be checking with the test bed so now normally this one doesn't have any dependencies for this one this service is a standalone service and it doesn't have any dependencies we have created this one now, if you are having a dependencies like master.service, which is dependent on the value service, then if you want to test it with the test bit means how we can do it. So I will try to show you this one also. So we know that this is dependent on the value service. So here we should mock the dependency. Okay. So using jasmine.createspy object to create a mock object for dependency, then we will provide the mock object using provide use value. So we need to use it like this. So let's try to use this one. So here I will use the describe master service here we will be having like this and in this one let's say we are we will be we need to have a master service object okay i am creating variable like this and here also we need to create a spy object right value service we need to create a spy object spy of type jasmine dot create create jasmine dot so we need to import this just jasmine okay jasmine dot create oh sorry jasmine dot create spy object which is of type value service that's it okay so this is how you will be providing it and here what we can do it is so let's try to remove this jasmine thing okay so now here we are having has no expected member did you mean 
that creates pi. Rasmi nut creates pi. So let's try to see it. Of course, creates pi. We will use creates pi. Value service. Let value service which is of type. So we'll try to check it this one. So we'll try to keep it as any only. So now here let's go into this one. So I will be using the before each for this one. And here I would like to create a spy object. Constant spy is equal to so here I will be having constant spy is equal to jasmine dot create spy object of and here I need to create value service so value service and the methods which I need to have it is the get value that's it so this is the method I want to have it so now we need to create it like this still we are getting error so it has been removed so now we got the jasmine dot create spy object of get value before each so we got the spy so now here we need to create a test bed <coughs> i'll be creating the test bed dot configure testing module okay and in this one we need to have a providers so this is all remember that we are using the dependency thing so master service and this master service is dependent on the provider service right value service right so here i can use provide value service and it needs to use the value so use value sorry use value and that is nothing but the spy it needs to use it that's it so now here this master service so we need to inject this master service service on the test and providers this all is completed right so what could be the issue in this one nothing is there why it is creating issue is used before it is assigned oh sorry here we need to have like this yeah fine so now here we got it now let's go to the uh, here in this after before each in this before each okay in this before each only so what i want to do here in this one <coughs> after completion of this one so here we got this one so let's try to uh, let's try to use in this before each only so here i will create master service is equal to testbed dot inject i will use the inject of master service so i will be getting the master service and also i need to get the value service pi also value service pi is equal to testbed dot inject inject of value service value service as jasmine dot spy object jasmine dot spy object and which is of type value service that's it so you can have it like this type conversion so that's not a problem so now we got the master service and value service pi so now here so we can test it so now here it we are using the hash get value hash get value should return should return the value from spy okay and here i can use it something like this so now here what we can do is so let's try to take the return value so return value is something like a fake value or anything so this is the value it should return and here what i can do it is value service pi dot get value get value dot and dot return value return value of so you can use this fake value so there is nothing but the return value you can use it here directly so there is nothing but. so now here expect master service master service dot get value to be return value there is nothing but the fake value and here expect sorry expect master master value service by value service by dot uh, get value get value dot calls dot count dot calls dot count to be one Okay, so this is how we have checked it right so we can also check it like this that's it so now if you are able to check this one so let's see that browser bundle generation completed yeah success 
and if you try to see the output for this one so here the get value from spy is also passed so i will try to explain you this one so mocking the dependency so here we are using the where jasmine dot creates by object creates a mock object for the value service the mock object has the same interface get value method but no implementation so that is the main thing so here we should it should it will have the same implementation the methods but no implementation now we are providing the configure test module includes the mock object using provide value use value so here we are using provide value service use value of spy now injecting the services so we are injecting the master service and the value service spy retrieves the mock dependency and also retrieves the service under test so here so now testing with the mock means so we are faking the stub value the return value get value and we are using it end dot return value and it will return this value so now we are verifying that method returns the stub value or not and also we are returning, we are checking that the spy method has been called once or not so this is what we will be trying to test it so this is how we will be using the test bit to in order to cal in order to test the services with the dependency hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you